Hi everyone. <clears throat> Excuse me. <clears throat> Hi everyone. Welcome back to Crochet Vox. It's Tracy, and this is a little, little show and tell of um, some bits and pieces that I got for Christmas that are yarn and crafty related. Some are not, um, but they're pamper related, which is good for me. So um, I didn't get masses like last year. Hello, Gary. All right. All right. <laughs> I didn't get like masses and masses of yarn like last year, but what I did get is stunning. So anyway, and I got this. I've got yarn bowl. I have never had a yarn bowl. I used to have this plastic egg that you put your yarn through the top hole and then it fitted together like those eggs you get in those machines for kids. But it was about this big and you could get a hundred gram skein or a ball that you'd <clears throat> I suppose it'd take a small cake and then you pull it up through there but it was that just meant it rolled around the floor but your yarn didn't but this one I've never had a yarn bowl and I know you can get some that are pottery and the little larger but this one um, is a wooden one obviously so when I do my tutorials and I have I usually use a box or a bowl that I put my yarn in stop it rolling around the floor but I'm going to give this a go and see if that works out better because you know there's nothing worse than the yarn ball suddenly winding itself around the table leg or going off into the distance um <clears throat> now i got this it's called rock on it's um uh it's a, a headphones and earbuds stand but obviously it was this kind of symbol that sold it so that i've got that that's another little present here and i got another ring light but this is a desk one um when people said oh you know what do you want and i said well i wouldn't mind one that's for a tabletop um because th this one that i have in here i used to take out and out in the kitchen do bits and pieces but it's a pain to take it in and take it out and then the, the the height adjustment's all wrong and so I want to leave it kind of in place. So I've got one that's more um, uh, portable, like it's just a, you know, a tabletop one. <coughs> so that's that. Um, and this I got from Jamie, it's a sewing kit. You know, I've got a sewing machine. Well, I did get um, a great big pack, which are all different feet, you know, sewing machine feet. Gary got me, and there's hundreds of different well, I'd say hundreds. There's a lot of different feet. Oops. And a thimble just fell out of this, so I'll have to pick my thimble up. But it's got a few bits have fallen. Well, not fallen out, but they've come out. But this is it anyway. I'll hold it up. And it's a big sewing kit. It's got all those like little clips um, as well, and lots of threads. Um, scissors, measuring tape, poppers, you know, press studs. Um, a kind of a slide rulery thing, which I don't know what that's for, but I will find out. And it's got a stitch unpick there. Um, and that, I guess it's a bodkin. Is it bodkin? There, are lots of stuff in there, and pins, and needles, and a little magnifying glass for blind people like me um, and the thimble that fell on the floor and all sorts of bits and pieces and there must be an, a needle threader here somewhere um, but if not I've got one got a little pin cushion there and I don't know what that's for I'm not sure what that is it looks like a ring maybe it's a, a, a finger thimble but it doesn't go over the because it was next to the other thimble that fell out. I'll put that back in a sec. Um, there we go, put that back in. So that's cool, isn't it? And I got... Um, oh, what, I know, I'm not sure what this is. I will guess off. I'll, I think there might be needles. Maybe sewing machine needles, I don't know. I'll pop them in. And um, put the thimble back in. But I'll do it up first, otherwise something else might fall out. That was cool. That's kind of crafty. Crafty related. Right, if I put that there. Um, over on Crochet Rocks, 
um, that is this channel, I know, but over on my Vox Chat, should I say, I did say I wanted an iPad cover. Um, uh, Paul and Victoria got me this one, and it's got um, Alfie, that's Alfie, and Bailey, and Harley, and Tyler on it, and we, when we went to the uh, Kent Life and did the pumpkins. So that's really cool, isn't it? And it's, um, it's brilliant. Look, it's got, um, place for your iPad obviously but isn't that lovely I, I was kind of kind of really amazed when I opened that that's lovely so although it's not craft related as such but it's still kind of you know that was the thingy that fell off the bottom of the um you know, was it last year that oh, the year before I think it was last year that Charlotte got me the mannequin and you can put this guide at the bottom for how long you want your garments and that fell off and I got this which is for my neck and it's like a hot water bottle and you fill it up and you can put it around your neck which is good for my neck at the moment so that's a, and I've got some cooling eye pads to put on your eyes when you want to like chillax just leaving a word and I've got this peel off black face mask because the girls were all had these on and were taking videos of them getting them off and I said I fancy trying it got my face powder that I normally get. Oh, hang on, that's not face powder, that's Grogu, look at that. He's so cute. So I got a little Grogu. And I got a mug Grogu, which might be a little difficult to drink out of. And Gary got a mug Grogu, which I'll probably need to drink out of as well. Um, another face, that's my face thing that I usually use. I did a little review on that. And I got a bag that I can put toiletries or anything I want in that's got Grogu on it. That's cool. I can put craft stuff in. And this was in my cracker, I think. It's a hobby craft voucher. So, um, yeah, hobby craft. That, that was from Gary. So I got, I think it was a hundred pounds to spend in hobby craft. I got £460 in various um, Pandora Ooh. vouchers. <laughs> I got loads of Pandora vouchers. They all know me so well. <laughs> but my, mostly they were Gary. <laughs> but um, in the cracker and um, in presents. But um, yeah, I got quite a lot of Pandora vouchers. Now, where's the rest? Ah. Wait till you see this. Gary got me some yarn. And you know, recently I ordered some metallic yarn. Well, he bought me this, look at that. And this is by Yarn Art. And I'm gonna get one out. It is so soft and I've got five, five skeins. There's four in there. I might have to get the yarn, then let's buy it out. Let's have a look at, whoops. Miss. Won't have this hat problem soon. Okay, so it's by Yarn Art. It's called Melody, but look at that. Isn't that the shiniest of shiny? And I can never keep it on when I've got hair. Let's wrap them hairs up. Knit Your Love, this is called. Um, and it is very foreign that, um, bear with me. I can't find English. Um, and I can't, it looks like Russian. I can't read Russian. Oh, it's a five weight, it's a bulky five. So it's, I've got four weight, which I got from Ice Yarn, but I haven't got a lot left really. And I got all the four, three weight from Hobby, and now I've got five. But that is, that is stunning, isn't it? I'm trying to find anything that's English enough to tell you. It's 9% wool and 21% acrylic and 70% polyamide, 100 grams, 230 meters, and the colors 888. But it's beautiful, isn't it? I love that and it is it is really mega soft it's lovely I can't feel any wool it's such a small amount that I don't think um, you can feel it at all but that's not all I got two huge cakes of yarn art flowers merino look at that don't fall down it's right you fall in the box but not out of it look at that it's like a big sunshine it's just gorgeous. 
really really beautiful i don't want to take it out if i can't get it back in i'm not sure yes i can I can here we go i can get that one back in so i've got two of these isn't it it's really gorgeous isn't it beautiful beautiful yarn and now let's have a look this is color 530 it's a three weight I'd say it's quite fat for a three weight. You just about see the strand there. To me, that looks a four, but it, they say it's a three. I don't know. Fat three. Um, twenty-five percent wool, seventy-five percent acrylic, two hundred and fifty grams, five ninety meters, or six four five yards. But it is ultra soft. Again, I can't feel the. I can't feel wool. You know when you sometimes when you pick up a yarn you think oh and i think the hayfield spirits the same you can't really feel any any wool but i've got two of those and that's not all in you go there we go i'll keep it nice and safe put it there for now and i got two of these <gasps> Isn't that beautiful? That is just, look at the colours. Let's get one out. See it up close and personal. That's, if I can, yep, I can open this one. Isn't it lovely? <clears throat> so I've got this one. Uh, look at that kind of mauvey colour. It's, it's just so beautiful. It's like really cool colours. Let's have a look what we've got this. And this one is called Flowers Merino again. Um, <coughs> it is the same um 25 percent wool and 75 percent acrylic two two five five ninety meters or six four five yards i'm gonna sneeze because i've been cuddling the cat i can feel it coming <coughs> you'll be back it'll happen again so there we are um i can't it doesn't feel any wool at all but isn't that lovely really really pretty did I tell you the colour number? I think I did. 551, in case I didn't. Right, um, put that one back so it stays nice. And, oops, can't get it in. It's too, the bottom bit's too heavy to get, get it in. There we go. Done. Done, done, done. And that's that one. <clears throat> this one, equally as beautiful. Um, let's get one out and see what it looks like up, up close. <coughs> so this one has greys going into pinks into this sort of off-white creamy colour. Isn't it lovely? It is beautiful. Again, Yarn Art Flowers Merino. All the same stuff and dimensions. And the colour of this one is five four six but isn't that just gorgeous so i've got lots um in each cake and two cakes of each so enough to make something of consequence but it is absolutely beautiful and uh gary said oh did you not open some blue yarn and i said no he said oh i must have thought about ordering that one and, and didn't do it so i had no idea what the blue yarn would have been but what oh, I didn't think really I was going to get any yarn this year because I've got obviously what's going on with me and the um, hobby rocks and I've got so much yarn. I obviously didn't expect to get any. Um, but not only did I get all this lovely yarn, I got a hundred pound voucher to go buy whatever I want to get in hobby craft. And um, <clears throat> so I don't have to. Really, if I don't want to buy yarn with it, I could buy more things related to the sewing machine that I bought. And, um, or, you know, we'll see, really. Anything. But I'll, I'll do that in the new year. We'll go and have a look when we get out and about. But that's uh, that's my crafty projects. Uh, um, presents, should I say. My crafty presents. I don't think I put any more in. Did I? No. So, yeah. I was very lucky. That's just like a, a few of the presents I got because the rest are not 
kind of relaxation or craft related so I didn't bring them in. Um, got a lovely watch and a beautiful ring um, which I did show you I think on my yesterday's rock chat because I opened it beforehand <coughs> and I got um, I bought Gemma I bought all the girls from Pandora every one of them and I got Pandora necklace and matched the bracelet that Gary bought me when I was in hospital and uh, things but anyway I bought Gemma a charm that you split in two you know like you get the love hearts and you have one your little sweetheart as the other well this was a little heart and one said mother-in-law the other one said daughter-in-law and so I got that to go on Gemma's um I got something else for Victoria but Victoria bought that same thing for me so <laughs> I, I've got two mother-in-laws and both of them have daughter-in-law which is quite apt isn't it that um I got that for Gemma and then Victoria got it for me so we all have one so it's kind of kind of cute uh but yeah um so yeah got loads and loads of um really lovely presents nice perfumes which i can smell again <clears throat> which is always a bonus um stay and i'd wanted a gary had this watch box where you could put all your watches in and i'd wanted one of those <coughs> so gary's brother bought me one and it has a little tray underneath for other jewelry as well so that was good Lots of stuff. I got really well and truly spoiled and have loads and loads of vouchers to spend as well. Which, you know, I can go look in in the sale, see what they've got. So, yeah, great day. And lots of, and I love this yarn. This one is just really amazing. And the fact that it's chunkier, I really like that. I think the ice yarn that I had. I had Universe, which I think is a five. And then I had Rockstar, which is a four. But the Universe that I had was all brightly coloured, <clears throat> different colours. But yeah, I was making a stall with that. Do you remember my stall? Those of you who've been on my channel for a long time, I was making a stall. We had this old stall, I was pimping it, you know, trying to make it nice down here. And it's almost finished and I keep thinking I should finish that stall. I was spraying the legs and making glittery bits on them and all sorts and I have just left it and I really need to finish my whips. That's going to be my New Year's resolution I think is to get rid of the whips that I've got because I've got too many now and get the tutorials done for the ones that I've not finished because I'm waiting around to film them. So anyway I hope you all got some lovely yarny or crafty presents for Christmas too. And thank you for watching. Stay safe, take care, and I'll see you tomorrow. Bye for now.